Well, August 30th, a week from today, is National Grief Awareness Day, so we wanted to really highlight someone who puts grief awareness front and center every day. This is Maria Brown Spence. She's the founder of the nonprofit called Hearts to Heal. Thanks for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. We appreciate it. So we wanted to start with these pictures here yes. behind us. These are two very special people to you, your grandmother and your significant other. Yes. They're also the ones who inspired you to form Hearts to Heal because of your own journey after losing them. Tell us about that. Absolutely. So my grandmother, Anna Marie, was my best friend. And so uh, when I experienced her loss, which was the first loss I had ever experienced, it threw me into a whirlwind of grief that I had never understood before. Mm. To experience a pain of that magnitude completely blew me away. And it was difficult. I had support with, with my family and friends, but I still felt very isolated. And for me, I was trying to conceal my grief with alcohol and finding that was not healthy, productive, or it going to empower me through my gr grief in any positive way. And so that took me a six year journey, it felt, of trying to just move through grief with my grandmother. And then my significant other um, would get diagnosed with cancer in 2018 and pass mm -hmm. right here in Austin at St. David South. And I said, I can't go back to where I went when my grandmother passed. I have to do something better. I have to find resources that can really push me through my grief. And so I found a grief and loss center here in Austin. And what I found was I was often the only person of color. I identify as a black and Latina woman and I was often the only one in the room and not to mention one of the youngest, especially when it pertains to a significant other. Mm. Um, and so I started to share my story on social media and what I found is what we know, everyone experiences grief and loss and people really just want an outlet to talk about it, to share, and to not feel vulnerable about what's happening in their lives and look for that support. And so I said, well, let me share my story to those that want to listen and those that also want to share. And while I was sitting with my mom, I said, gosh, there are so many hearts that need to heal. And that's how Hearts to Heal um, became what it is today. I just love that story. And, and, and when you were going through that grief and mm -hmm. finding that need that was there, um, you found that it, there really are barriers put up for underserved communities. Tell me about that. Yes, so one, we talk about location, especially where therapists might be accessible by bus or transit. Um, we also know that cost sometimes is a barrier access. After I lost him, I was financially indebted in a lot of things by supporting him. And so I said, oh, do I wanna pay for a therapy session today or do I want to pay for a bill, which often comes up for a lot of people is balancing the two, like I wanna move towards healing, but I also have to maintain the things that help this house move forward. Um, so that is one thing that we found. We also know that less than 3% of the psychology workforce identifies as black and we do have one psychologist that identifies as a black woman within our organization to also show individuals that there are mental health professionals in underrepresented communities that do want to support you and move you forward. So let's dig a little deeper into what Hearts to Heal offers the community. What do you do? Yes, yeah, so we are excited that as of April we piloted our free to reduced cost therapy. So we have two clinical interns that can provide services in both English and Spanish virtually across the state of Texas. Um, the first three sessions are free, but if you cannot afford a session, there are absolutely no barriers to that. We will make sure that you get seen. We have peer support groups, quarterly events, and we'll be launching monthly support groups at the top of 2025. A lot of it is the barrier for people is the money. Yeah. So does this, do you charge for your services or are they free? Yes, free. all of our services are free and we are a predominantly volunteer-led organization, which also shows the community support and commitment to making sure that there are more accessible grief and loss resources. That's fantastic. And people grieve in so many different ways. Yes, it's not just the physical death. Yes, so much. So um, I'm looking at this and you're a pretty busy person, Marie. I'm a little <laughs> concerned about you because you have a really, you have something coming up next week. Yes. And then you have a really big event coming up next month. Tell me about these. Yes, yeah, so a lot of things, but they boost me in so many ways. Next week, we have the Grief Experience Back to School Edition, and we will talk about grief and loss in all forms and all ages for back to school. So from everything to the parent having an empty nest now to someone going to college to someone that is trying to support a student that has experienced loss or a student that's experiencing loss themselves. That'll be at Capital Factory next Thursday. 
And then next month, we are super excited to have our annual Grief and Loss Summit, which will take place on September 27th at Oracle right here in Austin, Texas. And we're so indebted to our community organizations and partners that allow us to have space for these events. Maria Brown Spence, you, you, uh, this is really good. And, and the good point that you also made is that, you know, we kind of focus on the loss of a loved one, mm -hmm. which is profound, but yeah. it can be any kind of a loss, Anything. loss of a job, loss of a pet even, <laughs> or a relationship that's gone bad, something like that. So, so much need out there. We certainly appreciate your efforts. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me. And I hope that this gives everyone an opportunity to know that you can grieve and you can heal. All right. It's our pleasure. Okay, thank All right. You. Take care. We'll be right back. Stay